Alright, so hey guys, and welcome to yet another Wukong video. I don't know, I'm just really digging this rework, I just want to do stuff and talk about it. Now, the thing on the menu today is a Primal Fury setup, or as I like to call it, the Thick Stick Bills. Now, I originally wanted to go with a little bit of a different setup, which would utilize Transient Fortitude for a lot more power strength, and it would also run Hunter Adrenaline, which you can still do if you simply polarize the slot where I have Primal Rage, so you have enough capacity, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it in the end, because as I started playing around with this, I realized that I have more than enough damage, so I don't need the extra power strength, and the negative duration from Transient Fortitude would actually make the build feel worse. Now, just like the build that I did on Friday, this one is also incredibly flexible, so the fine-tuning of stats is up to you. I personally like to run really tanky frames, which is why I went with the Umbral setup, which gives me a ton of health and armor, and I'm also running Adaptation. But, as I've said already, that is up to you, with the only two mods that are kind of mandatory being Rage, so as you're taking damage, you're generating energy so you can sustain Primal Fury, and of course the Augment for Primal Fury, Primal Rage, which can give you up to 150% bonus crit. And if you have the capacity, you can of course swap out range for Hunter Adrenaline for a little bit more energy generation as well. Now the more important part of this setup is the Iron Staff build. This is the one that I went with personally and it is working wonders. So the setup I have here is Prime Pressure Point for damage. We have Condition Overload so we stack even more damage as we proc status on the enemy, which is followed up by True Steel for crit chance, Organ Shatter for crit damage. Then I went with Berserker for a ton of attack speed. Drifting Contact for the combo duration and status chance, and then Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge for viral damage and status. There are, however, two ways you can do this, and the choice is yours, because this is the more reliable version with more status, so that you proc status more often, which means Condition Overload kicks in sooner. But you can also just put in Prime Fever Strike for a ton of extra damage, at the cost of some status. Which is the way that I actually run it, because I feel like the 60% status is more than enough and the damage bonus is huge. Now one thing to bear in mind here is that this setup has a bit of a ramp up. You need to kill at least 10 enemies and then keep killing enemies so that you stack your crate from Primal Rage, which means it's not that great for Simulacrum showcases. So what you saw up until now, you know, me absolutely destroying the heavy gunners, was the low end of damage and the actual damage is kicking in right about now. And it is absolutely ridiculous. The amount of damage this does is just stupid, especially once you realize that this is also mostly the front end of the damage. There is a back end as well, since Iron Staff now has a decent amount of slash, so it leaves behind some nasty slash procs as well. So yeah, this setup can do some pretty dumb damage, and that's still not everything, because I'm just doing stuff on my own. I'm slapping things with a stick by myself. I don't have to do that. I can poop out Mr. Celestial Beefcake Buddy and do even more damage with the twin, even though with the heavy gunners he gets knocked down quite a bit. So yeah, this setup just has damage upon damage upon damage upon damage upon damage. It's really dumb. This setup, by the way, used to be my jam on the old Wukong. I would just put on Defy so I couldn't die and I would slap things with a stick all day long. And I was really worried after the rework that I wouldn't enjoy this anymore because of the auto-blocking just feeling really weird and jerky. But turns out it's actually not that bad if you kill everything before it is a chance to hit you, so you essentially never trigger auto-block. And the same goes for knockdowns. It doesn't feel great to not be immune to knockdowns while meleeing around unless you have the ability to kill everything before it has a chance to knock you down. So in the end I will actually switch my build full time to this because it is really fun and stupidly strong and I will even put in that double dash polarity so one extra format so I can run Hunter Adrenaline. Even though you don't really need it because if you're playing like towards the end of the star chart the enemies are doing enough damage so that you can sustain yourself with just rage. It's mostly gonna be for generating energy in the lower end of content where enemies sometimes even have trouble breaking that 300 shield you have on top of your health. But probably my favorite thing about this build is that even if you get yourself into a really bad situation, something like this, where you have Elite Sanctuary Onslaught with the Infested, where you're just not gonna have energy, no matter how hard you try, it's still gonna work just fine. It's more of a Celestial Twin setup, so you don't have to run around with your thick stick to actually be effective and do good damage. And I think I've been rambling for long enough, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the comments that you left on the Friday video, telling me that, you know, a thick stick setup is actually really good which is what kind of made me try this out so thank you once again and i will see you tomorrow bye bye